am reporting from Concho, Arizona from a friend's farm. You can check it out online by example.com. And this is where we first lived off grid. This is our first trailer. And it was a fun experience because we had limited, you know, uh, power, water. We use a um, outhouse here that is connected to the septic system, which was is pretty cool. Patrick's gonna cook us up some bacon in the morning. How exciting. Hey, that's cool. Some chopped garlic there, huh? Leave that Neo has a little playhouse there and there's a nice big tree it's so beautiful here I love Concho I own two acres in Concho that I bought at auctionaz.com peace and you're welcome for the thumbs up and anyway I paid $600 for two acres so if you think you need to spend $10,000 on land you don't you can buy it many different ways. In fact, there's even older ways to get land, but you gotta do the research. And unfortunately, the county has most of the recorded information. If you're trying to pull a land patent current, um, there's a group on Facebook called Land Patents. So you can go write your, your experiences there and um, meet some other people that have gone through the process and are going through the process right now. I just want to like, um, express my feelings towards government employees. <laughs> Your job is stealing money from people to exist. <laughs> and there are such things as non-governmental organizations and organizations that accept different types of currencies like cryptocurrencies for example it's not always about a fiat currency like bitcoin not bombs is a non-governmental organization that accepts bitcoin for donations they had a campaign to hoodie the homeless and i was talking to some friends here in concho it seems like the government is really hounding tiny houses, RV livers, full-timers, um, the homeless, and they're making it very difficult. If, if, if they're not really making it difficult through legislation, they're at least putting out these articles about making it difficult. It puts fear into the minds of people who are trying to live free. I think that it's really important that we express to our friends when we hear about these articles or we hear this legislation that no matter what the the small group of people try and do to control your life they won't ever control your life they may infringe upon your rights to be free for a while if you have some kind of interaction with them but ultimately there are so many places on land, on earth that you can travel to and park there for a temporary period of time and completely be left alone. So if you choose to live a completely decentralized life, it's totally possible. Already? <laughs> Already? I thought I was gonna get some nice, like, innocent cooking <laughs> video. No, it's blue balls and sticks and condoms and one and a half year olds. And hands. Oh, and magic hands. Don't forget about that. That's what music is good for. <laughs> when you edit your video. Vegetarian. Unfortunately, you still have to have livestock tax on your car. I hate that I even said that sentence because that's the type of thing a younger version of me would go, no, you don't. But if we don't want to be harassed with our child, did you pinch your fingers? Oh, it locked. If you don't want, if we don't want to be harassed while we drive around with our child, 
you know, there's certain things that we're going to do to make us feel more safe and less harassed. However, I completely encourage the next generation to drive without permission. And there are Supreme Court rulings, local government, state government, highway patrol, they cannot inf infringe on your right to travel within the most current means of technological means of travel. You have a right to travel without permission. You also have a right to grow food and raise food without permission. So, in order to make a more free society for the next generation, I highly encourage all government agents who are imposing threats upon other human beings to quit their jobs and go full time in a house that's paid for however you need to accomplish that in the shortest amount of time as possible and take your children with you stop sending them to government school and live free don't use frns or federal reserve notes and be free because no one's going to give you permission to be free. So I'm starting to get comments on my YouTube channel about Adam's videos no longer being public. Um, and you can assume whatever you like until I guess he releases information about his decision which may be today, maybe tomorrow we're in Contro right now taking care of some personal business here and we will be back Uh, tomorrow our home location on earth our temporary home location which is no one's business and I believe moving forward from this point on we will probably have somewhat of a, a different strategy um, to continue empowering other people to be free And I hope you appreciate the content that we're able to provide you without continuing any kind of oppression on our daily lives. All of you understand how invasive government can be, so maybe just bear with us and continue helping us by uh, sharing our videos and liking them and and supporting our content peace out love you